The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of DN, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. Spontaneity is something that I wish came easier. I'd love to be able to just jump in the car to visit a friend or say yes to that 4.30 movie invite. But when things pop up, there's a lot of extra considerations that I have to think about. Like what equipment I need, how long is it going to take, do I have transportation, and do I have the support that's needed to pull it off. Sometimes I have to say no. but. Sometimes it does work out. It just takes a little extra planning. I have an example for you. My aunt, who has a vision impairment, was planning on hopping a ride with a friend to come to visit. Her ride fell through. And so since it's been a while since we visited her, mom and I decided to make the trip up there. On a whim, we called the casino to see if they had an accessible room, and our luck, they had one left. So we booked it and headed up there. Here's a few snippets of how it went. Well, we made it to our room, and we don't travel light. Um, my Hoyer lives here. The shower chair is in the bathroom. And it's Minnesota, so it's still cold, and I didn't bring my microwavable slippers. So we're microwaving a towel to keep my feet warm. For future reference, if you microwave a hand towel for two minutes, it gets nice and toasty and it will help keep those cold feet warm. <laughs> I don't travel light and I'm thankful that my mom was willing to pack my Hoyer lift and my shower chair we did leave my bedroll home, but it didn't pose a problem this time, so I'm happy about that. And I didn't have my microwavable slippers or some of the creature comforts because we just packed an overnight bag. So some things were left home, but we made do and had a lot of fun. Having an accessible room on the ground level near a door was really nice. We did struggle with finagling the doors um, because you need to use your key card to open the door and then I have to hold it open so my mom can bring in the shower chair and the Hoyer left. So it was a little challenging. I didn't get that in video because we had our hands full. So there are challenges and it isn't always easy but you do what you gotta do, right? So we did make it to our room and unfortunately the beds have those um, solid blocks under it. So it does make it more difficult to use the Hoyer lift. We have to kind of straddle the corner and it's not easy or comfortable for either of us, but we did make that work as well. How do you guys travel? I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment below or in the forums at smanewstoday.com forward slash forums. Here's a shot of the uh, fun we had at the casino with the help of my Jaco arm. <laughs> We didn't win big, but at least we didn't lose anything either. So we came out maybe 20 or $30 ahead, but we ended up having cheese curds and then going to visit my aunt, which is the intention of the trip anyway. We had a lot of fun visiting and eating pizza. Spur of the moment road trip, we came up to Boston where my aunt lives and she took us out for pizza and pop. <laughs> and Horton's taking a nap under the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So we, uh, since it's a trek up here, about what, three and a half hours, would you say? That sounds about right. We decided to make it an overnight trip, so we booked a hotel at the casino. And after we visit with my aunt, we're headed back there and gonna have some fun. It was really great seeing my aunt visiting and catching up. So yes, you can have a successful, spontaneous trip if you want to. It just takes a lot of work and a lot of support. And thankfully, I had that this time around. It doesn't always happen. My cousin invited me to a show the other day, and I had to decline because my mom wasn't available to give me a ride in her accessible van, and the accessible transportation doesn't run in the evenings here. So I just planned it for another day the following week where I can uh, arrange transportation to go. So spontaneous trips or activities do take a little planning, but I encourage you if it's something that you want to do, you can make it happen. But I'd love to hear about your spontaneous activities. Leave a comment below or head on over to the forums at smanewstoday.com forward slash forums. But that's all I have for you today. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.